Okay, next lesson is about as-sukun. Okay, so the sign of as-sukun is written on top of the letter. Sometimes it shapes is like this. Okay, it's like the head of the gym, the small, and or sometimes it is it looks like a circle. So this is so. What is as-sukun? So as-sukun is the absence of the vowel so it is a silent no we don't have any a e or u sound so like for example what we have here okay we have the hamza fatha ba sukun ab this is the silent b ab because it has a sukun it doesn't have any fatha so you don't say aba or kasra abi or dhamma abu Okay, so it is only ab. Likewise, here the hamza has a kasra and followed by ba sukun. We read this one as ib, ib. And likewise, here we have the hamza, which is a dhamma. Okay, and then followed by ba sukun. So read this one as ub. Okay, like this. Uh, sorry, ub. So, ba silent. Okay, for now, let's have an example of the three letter, three letters of the word in Arabic. Let's say, ja, la, sa. So, remember, okay, we need the three base, base lines again. One, two, three, in order for us to read or to write the Arabic properly. So if you're in the beginners, you should master this uh, video regarding the connection. No? So we have ja, la, sa. So jim is on the third line. Okay. Jim, which is a fatha, ja, and then the lam also from one to third line. And then the scene on the third line. So this is the word that we are going to connect. Ja, la, sa. Okay. So now we are going to connect these three letters. So remember that jim is in the medial form. Uh, sorry, jim is in the initial form. And the lam is in the medial. And the scene is the final. Okay. So this is how we are going to write. The gym is on the third line. So the initial of the gym is written like this. Okay. And then the dot below. And then the vowel is fatha. So we read this one as ja. Now again, the lam in the initial form if you remember that the lamb can be connected before and after so first we need to draw a straight line before the lamb and then make the lamb and then straight line for the connecting because lamb can be uh, connected before and after and then we need to write also the scene in the final form first the straight line for the connecting and then the scene like that so the lam has a fatha the scene has a fatha so if you're going to read this one ja la sa now let's connect them all together so this will be the shape now so you see so it will be like this ja la Sa. Ja, la, sa. Okay, another example is the haba. So the haba. Zal with a fatha and then the ha with a fatha too and the ba with a fatha. So how are you going to connect these three letters 
So first is you have to analyze that the dal here, okay, if it is in the initial or in the medial, you cannot um, join or or join or connect any letter after that. So here you cannot. So you cannot join any letter after dal. So how are you going to write the dal now? So it will be like this. It will be written alone. Okay. The fatha. So now our next problem is the ha. So since ha is in the medial form, so how do we write the ha if you are going to connect this three letters together? So the ha will be in the initial form why because the dal you cannot connect the dal here okay so we will gonna write the ha on its initial form which is like this and then fatha and then next is the ba in the final form like that so we are going to join them together so this will be like that. So meaning to say the dal here doesn't have any thing connected to it. That is why the ha is written like this. Because if the if the dal or any letter before it can be connected, so the ha can be like this. Con uh, this is the straight line for the connecting and then the ha on the medial form. It should be like this. If there is a letter that can be connected okay, on the ha before. So since the dal, since the dal doesn't have any uh, letters connected to it, either in the initial or in the medial form, then therefore the next letter that will be after the dal is written in the initial form that is why the ha looks like this and not like this okay another example is a ka la a ka la he ate okay so the hamza here with the fatha and then the kaf also with the fatha Okay, remember this small like you know hamza it's not a hamza there it is like a small uh, s okay so a ka la so the lam in its initial i mean its isolated form is below the third line okay so don't be confused so now we are going to connect these three letters so hamza Fatha a. Ah. Now again, since the hamza cannot be connected after either in the initial or in the medial form, therefore the hamza here is alone. Okay. Now let's do the calf. So the calf again is in the medial. Okay. But since the Hamza here cannot be connected to the next letter. So therefore, the kaf will be written in the initial form. So the initial form of the kaf is like this. Okay. And then you have the fatha. Aka. And then the lam in its final form will be like this. So, the connecting and then the lam. Okay, fatha. So, now let's connect this two letters, the kaf and the lam, together. So, it will be like that. Now, if you're going to write them, okay, if you master all those initial, medial, and final form, it will be like this. A, ka, la, a, ka, la. 
So let's one. Okay, last one example is Shariba. 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 Okay, the Sheen. Fatha. And the Ra. Kasra. Ba. Fatha. So now let's join them together. So the sheen is in the initial form, so it will be like this. Sha. And then the ra in the medial form, first the straight line for the connecting, and then the ra, which is kasra. And then the ba will be written alone since, again, the ra cannot be uh, connected after afterwards or after it so the ba will be written alone like the um, isolated like that so now let's join the sheen and the ra so it will be like this shariba okay Sha, ri, ba. Okay. 